welcome to my channel. This is Lex Marie with another video. Today it's just gonna be an install. I'm showing you guys how to get this natural looking wig. Okay, like it's it's giving all it could give. It's giving. Okay, this is giving natural girl, college girl. This is giving 90s, you know, effortless beauty. So if you're trying to achieve this look with your wigs make sure that you keep watching this video but if you haven't already make sure that you follow me on all of my social media platforms including my new depop i have a depop that you guys will adore okay it gives you content just like this um also if you haven't already make sure you follow me on tiktok and instagram i know i've been slacking school has been whipping me in my butt but i am going to get back on it especially this winter coming into the spring so you will see plenty of new content um and yeah i'm on twitter because every now and then i say something funny <laughs> every now i say something funny so you know add me on twitter add me on twitter but yeah uh after you do all those things we're gonna hop into this flawless install um but yeah <laughs> so the wig that i'm going to be uh using today is from love me hair this is affordable luxury wigs okay and when i'm saying affordable no i'm not talking about five dollars all right these are probably between 300 to 400 but in my opinion the quality is like I, I mean you're getting a steal so i would recommend this company sometimes they do have sales so i will look out for that as well they gave me a bag with some tools in it that sometimes i like to give away every now and then i don't really like use them as much but it comes with a hairbrush in here and then like a a like scarf to put over your edges and then they give you a wig cap i believe there's two wig caps in here so if you don't have a wig cap it comes with that and then they just give you a car just like let me see oh this is for breast cancer well they're showing that they're you know um they support people with breast cancer and then it just comes with a brochure of their policies and how to contact them, how to take care of the wigs, etc., etc. But I already know how to take care of my wigs. So it does come with a good amount of stuff and the packaging is so cute. It's actually one of my favorite packagings that I've seen from these companies. Uh, I just like the purple. But yeah, that is what it came in. So if you did want to know the details on the hair, the exact hair, all of the details will be in the description box down below. Okay guys, so the wig that I'm going to be putting on, like I said already, is a Body Wave wig and it is so gorgeous. I already pre-plucked it, I already bleached it, I kind of customized it already. But I'm just going to take it off of the mannequin head so you guys can see how it looks before I do anything else to the unit. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Um, I did not put any color or anything on the lace just yet. Um, I'm going to do that off camera. But one thing I just wanted to point out is that it does have a elastic band. Um which I personally think is great. So if you don't want to do a glueless wig, you can definitely just wear this wig like, you know, without glue and just use the elastic band to keep it on. One thing I will say, that which I've noticed about this company, their lace is very unique. I have never seen their style lace with other wigs. And I don't really know how to describe it. It's not like it's super thin, but then it's like not thick. It's like that perfect, uh, amount of thickness on the um on the unit but let me just show you how it looks up close that's how it looks bleached and plucked it is very very nice so now i'm just going to put the ruby kisses cream foundation in the color 15. i honestly might need to start going darker because i don't know I feel like sometimes it's a little too red, like I kind of just need something to cancel it out. But this I think is pretty good. And I'm just going to lightly put it all over the lace. So now it is all over, it is nice and thin. And I'm just going to let it dry. 
after I put some got to be spray on the color. So I'm just gonna cut that extra lace that I have right there just so it doesn't um, show through. But you see how see-through this lace is? Like, you see how see-through this lace is? This lace is like no joke. So this is definitely like very, <laughs> very see-through. So you wanna make sure that the um, wig cap under is like super, super laid. All right, so I already put on my wig cap. As you can see, <laughs> he's juggling just a little bit. But I just wanted the front of my head to just be a little bit darker. I didn't want it to look too, too yellow. So after I darkened the front, I put on the wig to make sure like it blended with my actual skin tone, which it did. Um, of course, I could have did a better job with my uh, wig cap, but you know, it is what it is. We're gonna make it work. There's always a way. There's always a way you can finesse. So after you like make sure that the wig looks okay, just without it like being fully like glued on, you want to get ready to cut the lace and cut around the ear part. And I started to realize like around the ears, like cutting around the ears is actually very important because it has to fit your head. Like the wig has to fit your head. And one thing about Love Me Hair, it is not made for big heads like me. So I try to cut the lace in such a way that it won't look too small for my head and it'll still give me a natural look. Um, so I try to make sure I cut my lace very, very carefully. All right, so for this install, I'm gonna go back to using my Ors, my Olive Oil Super Hold Wig Grip Gel. This has a great hold. It says it's about an eight level hold. Um, I just wanna switch it up because I know I've been using the wig hold spray and I just wanna show you guys like you can use another um, type as well. So I'm just going to cut this into three before I put it on. So what you see I'm doing right now is I'm working in sections and when I use this glue I like to work in threes so I cut the lace into three parts and then I put two layers of that glue on. I first make sure the first layer is tacky and then the second layer can honestly just like it can be a little wet because I try to dry the lace and the glue at the same time. So I'm putting on my second layer and then I'm going to pull down my wig and try to get all the hair out the way and then start to dry the hair. So I'm just doing that so it lays pretty flat and adheres to the wig. Searching for more. Afraid to leave, afraid to show. Afraid to leave, afraid to leave. So I'm tired. Find yourself knowing no. Lost in looking for a soul.
And when you do use glue, sometimes the front of the hair can get a little sticky. So just make sure you're always combing it so it doesn't um, get too stuck to the actual lace. So I like to just comb the hair in the front, move the hair in the front as much as possible. And just make sure the only thing that is glued down is the actual lace and not the hair. time you come around every time you return see it in your tired eyes that you still have more to go So I've been doing more side parts just because I feel like with straight hair, it looks so much better on me. I can add layers. I can make it look sexy. I could dress it up, dress it down. So for this, I'm going to do a side part and just make it a little bit deeper by adding baby hairs. So right now I'm just getting the part together, making sure that it doesn't show any tracks. You see, I'm trying to cover those tracks and it just looks very very natural so if you are having some issues with the hair where it's like kind kind of bumped make sure you use some hold spray and then also use a flat iron at least in my experience it helps it lay down a little bit better i've seen people use like small irons now but what i like to do is just use some spritz or use some hold spray and then go in with the flat iron just to make sure it's as flat as possible um, I used to use a wax stick, but one thing that I noticed with that wax stick, it makes your hair so greasy. It's just, listen, mm -mm. we can't have that. We can have shine, but the grease feeling, no thank you. Like, I don't know if it's because I was using too much or what, but it made my hair super, super greasy on top, and I just did not like that in my opinion. Enough for two. Oh, then you've had it rough. But you're also 
so I just talk to her. And we both know every time you come around, every time you return, I see it in your tired eyes. I just still have more to go. So this is again entirely up to you, but I don't like to lay my hair with actual glue anymore. <laughs> I actually use a spritz or a spray and I just let them kind of do their thing. Like as long as they're shaped and they have a direction, I like to have my baby hairs just look a little bit more natural. I feel like the glued look is nice when you don't want it to go everywhere. You don't want it to sweat out, but I don't know. I kind of like the free baby hairs. I like my baby hairs just kind of existing on my head and being nice and fluffy. So I just like to put some spritz on a comb and then just put that comb uh, through the baby hairs and kind of just let it naturally uh, sit the way it was curled. Searching for more Friends to leave a friend for show Fight to leave Fight to leave Sometimes Find yourself No one knows Lost in looking for a soul all right so this is the key this is how you make a small wig big head friendly you want to have the cutest most laid most curly baby hair covering that spot that does not cover your sideburns and i realized doing a side part with a small wig also does help with concealing and um kind of hiding that it's small so yeah just make sure you curl those side parts and you do keep not like so much for the sideburns because you know some of these girls these sideburns be coming to their neck but you have to just try to find that perfect um spot for you which me is kind of like the middle of my ear so i try to have my sideburns in there but again it's up to you
like love, can it? No, no, it must be a trap. Would it be a convenient one? That's terrible. Yeah. Can you ask her again? Yeah. Oh, my God. Why does it look so scary? It does, does it? So as you can see, this wig definitely has movement. It definitely has movement. And I'm going to stand up and show you guys how it looks on the ends. Um, this is supernatural and it's 16 inches. It's perfect. This is perfect, you guys. Just gorgeous. Alright, so I'm done with basically installing the hair, but I did want to just give myself a little bit of layers in the front. This is probably the one of most like one of the most natural looking wigs. Um, yeah, Love Me has very natural looking wigs. I think they're just the most natural looking website to get wigs from. But what I'm gonna do is just give myself some layers, just a little bit in the front. So make sure you pay attention, please. I do this with the side that is not as sharp i do not want to lose a whole bunch of hair i wanted it to be some light layers you know some light front layers so i just used the not so like sharp side and i combed the hair in the front and i just did it in a diagonal direction i didn't do it straight down i had the hair straight and i did it in a diagonal direction as you can see boom you see that <laughs> very subtle very cute and when i'm telling you these are gorgeous layers that's all it took that's all it took it gave it a natural look instantly so if you want to ever make your wig just look a little bit more natural try to put some layers in the front or just like all around the wig because it definitely does make a difference all right so i just finished um curling the ends and bumping the ends just a little bit i will say i'm not gonna lie to you guys i've never lied to you guys i try not to lie to you guys when it comes to this all right this right here love me hair has the best natural looking units in my opinion i would shop from them if you are looking for a natural looking unit now I have yet to review any of their like curly, I mean not curly, but like colored haired wigs, things like that. But when I'm telling you, their natural looking units come very natural looking, very natural looking. I believe this is their 16 inch, if not it's 14, no this is 16 inches. I plucked slightly, I bleached it, I did everything I wanted to do to the actual lace, however I did not like thin out the lace at all like this is the um thickness it came in and i love it like i think this is super cute i think it looks believable and that's what i try to do with some of my wigs i try to make it look as natural as possible so if you are trying to get a more natural looking wig i would definitely say shop at love me hair um let me know if you guys want to see more wig reviews uh <laughs> with them i definitely will be working with them in the future um overall this is a 30 gazillion out of 10 i have no complaints um 
Um, the lace is amazing, the hair is silky, and it can hold a curl, it's super soft. And I just have, I don't have any complaints. I don't have any complaints, guys. And I know, like, as you can see, this looks like my hair. Like, this legit looks like my hair. And just all I did was just cut some layers in the front and that was that. So make sure you leave a like down below and you let me know how you liked this installation and what other videos you would like me to do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.